Today, we're doing tuna salad. But this ain't your mama's tuna salad. <laughs> no offense, Mom, but this tuna salad is chock full of yumminess. And even the pickiest of eaters will love it. <laughs> that is for uh, sure. I love it. I, I know. Well, I don't know about that picky. Well, when it comes to seafood, you can be. <laughs> and if this does not taste like seafood, this is amazing. So I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My sometimes seafood loving loon. <laughs> Yay! So totally. we're making tuna salad. This is one of our most popular dishes on the blog. So good. And so let's get going. All Make right. your dressing. All right, so I've got three quarters a cup of mayonnaise. Good quality mayonnaise. You could make your own. We've got a link. It's yes, fun. Yes, yes. And then I've got a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Yes, yes, yes. So this good. dressing so is good. so amazing. And then I'm going to do the juice oh, of... Oh, let me get uh, you that's a juice Hey, I got it, Chris. I could oh. just use my hand All like right. this. There we go. Catching those... Seeds. seeds. Yeah, I forgot to put your juicer out for you. That's all right. I'm getting messy. This is good for your skin too. <laughs> lemonade, <laughs> lemon juice, not lemonade. Yeah. This dr this dressing, the the lemon is really important. People talk about how this, it just brightens the 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 uh, salad up so much. It's so fantastic. It's so good. And then I'm gonna do a teaspoon. Mm, sorry, say it. Don't spray it. <laughs> a teaspoon of salt and then a half a teaspoon of pepper. So what I would recommend on that is we like a, te a teaspoon, we think a teaspoon is just the right, but if you don't like things, again, it's not too salty, but like I always say, do a half a teaspoon and then give it a little taste, like, mm, yeah, that's perfect, because it's gonna envelope this entire salad. And I'm gonna mix this up. Mix her up. With my, whisk it up with my whisk. Whisk it on up. Right. Okay, so now let's start talking. So I've got some onions here that I've, I've pickled. Uh, this is a half a cup of chopped red onion. If you wanna kind of just melt the onion a little bit, which I think is um, the nice thing to do for the salad. All you do is you just get get your onion, put it in a bowl, and then pour some kind of vinegar over it. I love the apple cider vinegar. That just sort of, it basically pickles it, so I'm going to drain that. and it, A little it, pickle. A little a pickling little, of your onion. A little pickling goes a long way. And it just softens it a little bit, and it just kind of mellows out that flavor of the onion. If you love the good, distinct taste of onion in your salad, then just don't worry about pickling them. You won't be in a pickle, that's for sure. That's for okay, sure. Okay, now let's talk tuna, the star of our tuna salad. Yeah. So we're going, you just, you don't want to, you don't want to skimp on this. If you're going to do kind of like a, a fancy schmancy tuna yeah. salad. Remember, this isn't your mama's tuna salad. It's not your mama's, it's not your mama's, <laughs> I'm, we, but we love you, mom. And I love mom's tuna salad. Um, but anyway, this is a skipjack wild tuna. So tell them, and this is chunky, it really, yeah. this skipjack. is so, Skipjack, sorry, has a richer taste Come on. Um, than albacore. Albacore is, you know, is mainly what most people use, but we found that the sip, the skipjack just has a, I don't know, like a more, uh, almost like a buttery flavor. Yeah, it's yeah. so good. And you see like right here, it's just, you can tell the quality is great. So, and the color is different. It's a little more pink. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, tuna is the loaded albacore. with nutrients. It's, it's high and it's um, loaded. It's loaded, and uh, <laughs> but it's also very low. This particular uh, tuna is low in mercury, which is important for a lot of folks. Um, what are you doing? I've oh, got this for oh, you. Oh, thank you. So I, this came um, in kind of like in chunks. So I just use my fingers, my clean fingers, to to uh, break yeah. it up. That's perfect. That's so wonderful. My <laughs> my mom's tuna salad. I love you, mom. Was here's a can. Here's the mayonnaise. Bam. I know. I, <laughs> tuna and mayonnaise, that's, that's it. it. That's well, it. that's pretty basic. Yeah. <laughs> that's need a little seasoning, please. <laughs> um, but no, so this is two ribs of celery that I finely chopped. I, I finely chopped it because I don't, I, it's just like in the chicken salad. I used to hate it when I was a kid when like you basically bite into like a whole stick of celery. <laughs> I just liked it finely chopped. Um, and okay, now we've got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, some people, whenever we make this, they're like, uh, what all are you putting in your tuna salad? Just throw it in there. Just do it. This is a, qu <laughs> a quarter cup of capers that have been drained. Yeah. Here we're gonna, you're gonna really be saying, what? It's cranberries. This is a half a cup of dried cranberries. It's Awesome. It adds just a touch of sweetness to it that is, is fantastic. <laughs> Although we, I think we did have a grandma once saying, what are you doing oh, putting those, oh, oh, those cranberries oh, in listen, there? So we, our, <laughs> that was a tablespoon of chopped fresh parsley. <laughs> oh, well, on that point. So we have our, the, the recipe that really we kind of hang our hat on that just helped propel us to having some success was our chicken, chicken salad. Chicken salad. It, I don't know, it was, it's, it's sort of similar to this, but we had, and it has grapes in it and almonds and 
And I, we would get so many people say like, what are you putting that stuff in yeah. there for? That's yeah. not a chicken salad. And then they come back after they tried it and they're, they're like, like um, I'll sorry. never have it any other sorry. way. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So just go with us on yes. this, okay? Now this is a, my favorite ingredient to put in this. This is two tablespoons of fresh chopped dill. Now on all of this, you could go with dried, but I think the fresh really, really brightens and pops the flavor. Okay, let's all put right, that let's dressing put the in mayonnaise here. mixture in there. Let's do it. Let's go. Go ahead. Oh, look at that. This is, I, I'm telling you. You got it? Yep, I think I do. I think I do. All right. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use my spoon. Wow. Oh, it's so good. So good. I mean, I it's, love, I, you know, I growing up, because that's what all I had for tuna salad, my tuna sandwich was was mayonnaise and tuna. Uh, I didn't like it very much. No. Um, this, I love so much. I know, I, and you can- It's amazing. You see how much this makes, so it, it doesn't make a massive amount if you're gonna be, we, we have people that tell us, oh my gosh, I served this at a bridal party oh, shower gosh, or baby yeah. shower, Put and it's- little, uh, like little uh, biscuits and serve them, oh! Little rolls or yeah. something, yeah. Or put them, you can serve them on a bed of lettuce, it's so good by itself. Do a okay. wrap. So I was, but what I was gonna say is you could, double or triple this and it's so easy to do and it's and it keeps in the fridge speaking of which we're gonna stick this oh. in the fridge i know you can <laughs> eat it right now and it's tempting um but to let those flavors really come to come together and get to know each other we're gonna let it chill for an hour uh. and then we're gonna eat <laughs> okay all right it's been almost an hour we couldn't wait any Yay! longer this is so yummy. Look at, Look at that. that. Nice and chilled. The flavorness is so wonderful. All right, so we've got some some cute little buns Yay. here. These oh, wait, let me tell you about these. Oh, little, yeah, look yeah, at right. how adorable these little plates are. They're Jalisca, and we got them from our dear friends at the table at Latona's. The table at Latona's.com. We love them. So look at their 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 uh, product. Their so stuff is many great stunningly dishes. beautiful and perfect for like something like this. Yes, come on, okay, bring it we in. Got a little, we got a little uh, bread there, just a little roll, just mm -hmm. something kind of cute and simple. You can serve this on toast, you can serve it on just plain of white bread, you can serve it Yay. on, um, like I said, lettuce is a nice oh, touch. Wonderful, Chris. Oh yeah. Yes. We'll make sure everybody can see all that deliciousness. That Yay. <laughs> is a tuna salad. <laughs> and here you go, let's Thank get you, you started. Perfect. All right. Yes, this uh, Lat Latona table, at, table Lat at Latona's. We have gotten so much of their product, and it's just, I mean, it's beautiful, especially for, if you like to entertain. And tons of collections from different um, this lines. Were these, these were from Portugal? Are, yeah, Portugal, and it's Jalisca who's the designer. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, you guys. I All am right. so excited about this. Just... These are good. Oh, and that bun is nice good. and soft. I know, yeah, soft right. buns. I'm gonna get a little messy. All mm, right. I am so excited. Oh my. Mmm. You know, mm. when you said in the opening that even the picky eaters, it's true, people who don't like tuna salad. What is this? It's the combination of flavors. It's amazing. I know. All right, one more bite, y'all. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Friends, mm. family, Ooh. countrymen. You need to make this. <laughs> the cranberries, the dried cranberries. Oh, that add just a little touch of sweetness. I know. And then the capers, the capers the and the cranberry, like the wham bam. Oh, this is ten thousand percent. Lead up, yeah. And wait until oh. you see what else we're gonna do with this before oh. too long. We're gonna make the best sandwich. I, I Melty kind of sandwich <laughs> of all time. <laughs> all right, we got you guys. We love you so much. Make yay, make this tuna salad. Best ever tuna salad. We love you. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>